Welcome. We need to call us to order at 5.30, Horizon Standard Time. Um, welcome guests. Um, do we have any revisions, changes, additions to the agenda? <coughs> I'm going to move us to public comments and correspondence. Any public comments or correspondence? I have, I have comments related to the warning, and I don't know if I should. If I'm, can I make them during the discussion about the warning, or should I do them? Yeah. Now? Okay. So, Ruben, I just wanted to share with you what my intentions are as uh, in running for the U32 school board. My term is up, um, and I'm uh, intending to move. Um, out of East Montpelier in the, over the summer, uh, and, but I'd be willing to obviously um, serve for um, until that time. Originally, I thought that that would probably be enough to get to get U32, you know, basically over the finish line. And I, have, I communicated that to U32, U32 board, and they were fine. Now it's not exactly clear if if July is really helps all that much, but. Given the late date, I figure I might as well run. But I wanted to inform you because you would be in the position of appointing someone to fill my seat. Mm -hmm. when I do have to step, to step down. So. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you for yeah. letting us know. Sorry that you're moving out of that. Yeah, to Callis. To Callis. <laughs> okay. well, I guess congratulations. Maybe you can convince them we're not trying to close their school. <laughs> yeah. Because I heard it again this weekend and it really, really irritates me. That would be really yeah. good luck with that, though. <laughs> Says the cynic. Yeah. And we did talk about in, in the articles committed at the beginning, and uh, I know you guys that because you, you need to serve until December, that we were going to figure out a way, just like we've done in negotiations before, that we can. Do that appoint somebody at these stores mm -hmm. the end depending on what happens right because right now we don't know if it's 2020 right. either yeah okay. all right thanks sorry we i totally jumped in and started without you so um, let us know okay. when you're ready we can pause for a minute that's okay i thought you might have just um on my way here as fast as i could get yeah the roads are no yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. don't worry I yeah. completely yeah. forgot to look yeah. and make yeah. sure that you were here and set up. It's a great design. I might have something oh, to do with this one. Public as public a hotel. Hotel. Okay. Yeah, you, you haven't missed much other than you call the order. Distract us, I because the school birth appreciation month. I brought you guys some blueberry lemon bars oh, yeah. in nice. case you guys have been running around a bit like me and I'm just a little hungry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm going to move us to I would take a motion to approve the minutes of December 17th. So moved. Second. Is there any mm. discussion of the minutes of December 17th? I'm not seeing or hearing any. All of those in favor of approving them as presented, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Discussion of then agenda, town meeting preparation 3.11 board communication plan. So I'd say. I would start off room by, you know, you finished your report last week. You get the gold star for the first chair to be in. Yeah, I just want the record to show me. <laughs> I, for the first time maybe ever, was yeah. not only on time, but got my report in first. Ooh. That's awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. Call out. Wow. It was the first one to be done. <laughs> um, so the report, as we talked about last month, is, uh, is going tomorrow morning to Deb. And it will be... 
should be all set to go. So. I know that you guys talk a lot more about the communication plan than that, but I yeah, just yeah, thought I'd give you that update to kind of give a little pause as I saw something you flipping. We usually just talk about the front porch forum and mm -hmm. the slideshow. For, so I had a question. You know, I'm assuming that we will do our usual, you know, just show the school a town meeting, like still have a informational town meeting, as or or not. I'm I'm just I'm trying to do it. I think there be a lot of uh, a lot of questions and a lot of so I think, but. What? My town meeting day. Questions about what? Because we're not voting on a board, and but you can't talk about anything that's on like person people or. No, I mean the questions about where we oh. are in the process. So like, where where are we at the school? You know, this live show as we usually do, and take the opportunity to inform people where we are in you know between moving forward in Act Forty Nine or the loss, what, whatever it is. Yeah. So, so my sense has been that we're going to pretty much proceed as we always have with the absence of a vote. Yeah, yeah and be yeah. very clear that we have no authority, but this is what we've done. Yeah. So it's communicated to you on and to me on January 10th from the Agency of Education. Um, it talks to you about the state board order and the current state of the. Um, of the lawsuit and that there was a postponement right now in the um, um, the agreed upon scheduling interim scheduling agreement to pull things to February that you were under authority to no authority to present budgets um, right. and it was very direct mm -hmm. on that from the agency is there does that preclude us from presenting what we had recommended to the, to the transitional board? I don't think anything precludes you from presenting whatever you'd like. Okay. It's whether you have a vote. Well, I think it's very clear that we don't have a vote. Yeah. And so, uh, I, in my mind, and I leave this up for your consideration, but in my mind, we proceed as we have in the past um, with the obvious difference being that we're not bringing a budget for consideration by the voters. Hey, Scott, Scott, you all say? Uh, I'm sorry, Bill. I'm um, obviously in a state of even greater confusion than usual. <laughs> uh, um, we did the U32 at 5. <sighs> well, I was getting a car out of a snowbank. Okay. I'm so Sorry. sorry. That. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. it's, okay. it's out. Yeah, okay. thanks. Good. My apologies. We, we had four and we were able to do that piece. Oh, great. And, okay. And Wonderful. So, thank you for coming. No, thank you very much, and, and my apologies, everyone. No, um, no, no, no. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah. Sort of cameo <laughs> appearance. Well, you're very kind, but um, I... After two hours, you get the car. <laughs> he gets a meeting on Wednesday already. He's going to say, That's all true. <laughs> Look forward to it, Flora. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Take care. Okay. Bye. Okay, so... Ask a question? Sure. I'm just curious why you're not presenting a budget, because according to the state, statute um, for 22 and 428 uh, you're required as the entity that controls this school but the state legislature has been very clear the state legislature didn't change those laws well, they changed i think what 46. happened is, is that the, the um, legislature did not plan on there being a, an appeal to force mergers, I don't think they planned on any of this, and I don't think they planned on the um, attorney general's office and the AOE needing more time to respond. And so, right now, you guys are the ones that are are in control legally of this entity, and um, I'm not really sure why you're not, when there is a state law that you're responsible for presenting a budget to the electorate to be voted on in town meeting. Now you can say that, uh, you know, well, we're waiting until the organizational meeting, but, um, you know, that's like buying a house and saying, well, I'm gonna rent out part of it and get this much money for 
uh, to help me pay the mortgage. You don't, you don't know what's going to happen. Agreed. So I'm not sure why you're not putting a budget out to vote. There are schools in the state of Vermont that are doing that. Schools that are in, are in a forced merger situation that are putting budgets on their school district town meeting to be voted on. So my sense is that if we do that, it's going to create a lot of confusion in the taxpayers because it's already, there's a million things up in the air and there's a million moving parts. And um, I think the act of presenting a budget that we actually don't have authority to present at this point, I understand that you have a different view on that, but. Um, I'm not sure why I, you don't have the authority to present it. Because the transition process has been pretty clearly laid out in my mind. And the transition board has not been sworn in. There is I understand no transition that. board and in control right now. So the way that I am looking at this, in my mind, if something occurs and we need to warn a budget, we will warn a budget. But it's so not this. Can, can I just ask, is that the way all of, every, every one of you feels that same way? that you don't feel like you need to follow the state statute that says you're required to present a budget. I'm following what's coming. Uh, I for the electric to vote on. And by our attorneys. And attorneys, and I don't think it has to be on town meeting day if it comes down to, yeah, it we have to have a budget. Yes, it does. That's, well, what, the, that's I, what the statute says. Unless I understand. you decide the year before, you know, sometimes schools say, well, we want to have the meeting on a Saturday after town meeting. You vote on that, like if we if we decided this year we wanted to have it on the Saturday after town meeting, you would vote this year on that, but then that wouldn't take effect until next year. So I'm not so no, you are you are required. And that, that legislative law has not been changed. I'm following what I've been advised through this whole Act forty six okay. mess. That if our Communities that had the right to vote, we wouldn't be in this mess, but they never did. So this is where we are, and we've been told now to warn it in February for the transition because of the delay. So, yeah. All right. so everyone else feels the same way. Well, I, I think uh, for for myself, is we've been because we are the school board members. We're trying to follow what they're telling us where we are. So at each step of the time, we had to change things when we needed to change them. We, we submitted an alternative because that's where our communities wanted. We got rejected. We, they told us to do a uh, warning you know, for the 14th. We had to change that. So at, at every step of that, so I think what you can be sure about is that each step of the way, we're going to do what is best for our community, what they're telling us to do. So at each step of the way, we're not you know, we're not here to oppose Act 46. We're not here to propose an alternative. Right now. We're just trying to like stay on top of it, you know, by our fingernails, literally. So every week things change. Every week we change the timeline. Every week we're like, are we putting articles to vote or not putting articles to vote? So it, it would be really for us premature to assume that we need to, we, we would just create, like Ruben was saying, create a little even more confusion because then we would put a budget to vote and then if it's not the right thing, we, we would be underwater every step of the way. So what you can be assured is that we, for real, are doing the best we can to stay on top of it to whatever they're telling us. We're not, a, you know, we're respecting both timelines, the, the lawsuit and what the OEA is, is telling us and we're trying to combine it as best yeah. as we can with our legal counsel and, and, and Bill. So it's not, you know, we're not the experts. So we're the experts on, you know, on the school or and the kids, but we're legally, we're, we, we don't, you know, we, we don't, I don't know. That's sort of how I feel. I feel like, you know, please be assured that we are gonna do everything we can to, to do the best we can for, for the community. And the they being the no. AOE? The what? The, the they that's telling you this is the AOE? No, no, it's our lawyer. We have uh, we have a lawyer, Chris Leopold. It's our lawyer two, for two places. You have the two, Agency of Education yeah, that's that right. have sent that written documentation that I have in front of me on my computer, which I shared with all board members. Yeah, right and um, 
and then also Chris Leopold, who the Articles of Agreement Committee hired for all the Act 46 and transition process. And was the question ever asked, how does it get reconciled with the other two statutes that say you must present a budget? It was, it, from, I didn't ask that direct question of anybody. What mm -hmm. I did ask was that what I was told is that we're under current, we're under the current order that was decided on November 28th from the state board. So Stephen and Darcy, you're saying? So I won't respond as an individual. We should have a motion as a board. And if the ant question is of the board, we should reply as a board. We're not individuals, we're a group. Mm -hmm. And then we can express our individual opinions in relation to the motion. And I'd be comfortable making the motion. Go ahead. So <clears throat> my motion would be oh, that we follow the Agency of Education and um, Washington Central Supervisory Union legal advice not to present a budget. Vote. I'll second. Can you add at this moment? At town meeting. If the agency of education mm -hmm. guidance or our legal guidance changed, then we wouldn't be bound by that vote. But based on the current yeah. agency of education and legal advice. So then I would think it, it's appropriate as individuals to discuss that. So Darcy, and I'm sorry. Motion to discussion? Sure. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. So um, uh, my view is I want to follow what we've been, what's been recommended to us. Um, I also don't know what would happen if we tried to pass a budget that passed. What would then happen if we tried to then not just from a confusion standpoint, but is there anything legal that we'd have to then, or is the budget just a temporary thing that could change it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you would have to, I don't understand that process enough to. So there's a debate happening right now amongst school attorneys if there were a budget and another one had to be done about how you would send a yeah, budget adopted by the electric. electric. Yeah. And that the electric would have to come together and be sent that or not. It has not been. Okay. Right. So that goes back to my concern about the confusion, which is that if we weren't a vote and it passes or it doesn't pass, let's assume that it passes, um, and then the transitional board, or, the, or actually the new board, then uh, taking aside the legal issue, we're asking the voters to vote again, and then we have to explain what pieces they've already voted on and what pieces they haven't. And in my mind, especially given that our legal counsel and the AOE and the state board are all of one very clear voice, uh, I see lots of downsides and no up for our warning a budget at town meeting. <clears throat> that's, that's my personal stance on it. So for, for me, it's all, <clears throat> The time sequence. So currently, the guidance that I understand is there'll be a different board in place prior to town meeting that will have the authority to do that work. If that board is not in place in time and we become the, the board to submit a budget, then we'll want a budget and submit it. It won't be on town meeting day, but it will be in a later date. So in, in my mind, um, we won't be the legal board to present a budget in the end of February. So that's what I'm operating on. If we become that a legal board, then we will warn and present a budget. And we have a budget, so. So, so it wouldn't be easy to. <laughs> So I'd call a question. Okay, so I have a motion and a second. The motion is to, uh, I'm gonna 
we should make sure that my notes and your notes are somewhat in agreement. Uh, move to follow AOE and WCSU legal advice not to present a budget for a vote on town meeting day. May I ask you mm -hmm. to do one thing? Sure. Change it to Chris Leopold instead of WCSU. I'm not an Sorry. attorney and no one in our office is. Um, WCSU legal counsel or? Chris Leopold. Chris. Chris Leopold, would you consider that a friendly amendment? Okay. Um, are our notes in agreement for what the motion is? So, um, what I have is um, motion my notes, uh, move to follow AOE and WCSU advice. AOE and Chris Leopold, the, do we want to explain? Just say legal advice. Like, So the motion is to follow AOE and Chris Leopold's legal advice not to present a budget for a vote on town meeting day. On town meeting day? Correct. Not, meeting day? Uh, not to present a budget for a vote on town meeting day. I'm sure that could be done with fewer words, but that's what I do. <laughs> Uh, made by Steve and uh, seconded by Lindy. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Thank you. Um, 3.1.2 School Board Member Elections. So we have two board members who need to. Um, in a pretty short time, have their <laughs> petitions <laughs> in. <laughs> Next Monday would be the short time. Yep. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, I guess I better do that. <laughs> yeah. Pro probably, uh, probably tomorrow would be a good day. Because <laughs> we got to school. <laughs> Does that need further discussion beyond that? Was not correct. No, and Kari was here earlier explaining it through. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. so is you and yeah. 3.1.3. East Montpelier school, Town School District. East Montpelier Town School District Town Meeting Warning. So we gave you two versions of the warning. One with the public meeting on it. You are required to announce that public meeting about any district. Uh, election or district meeting uh, 10 days prior. If you did it in the morning, then you're all set. If this is when you want it, if you want a different time, you could amend it right now. Or we could do the first option on page four that doesn't say when the meeting was happening. So this is part of what Laura, you were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. And so Krista actually said, she said, why don't we give both all the boards, which we've been doing, the option to put it right on the morning or not. And so if you'd like it on the morning, we can do it with what's on page five and it's a different time and date. You can amend that right now. That's been traditionally when you had it, which is the Saturday before at 9.30. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just trying to, this is a good, good thought by Krista to give you some options. Is there any reason that we would not want to, I mean, this sort of loops back to the conversation that we started to have a bit ago, which is any reason to stray further from our norm other than okay I'm, I'm going to clarify Wait, I'm and just, say oh, yeah, in my confused, mind confused. <laughs> we should present just like we would normally do on Saturday morning for town forum um, with again the very clear position being that we are here for informational purposes only and we are not going to be voting on Tuesday mm -hmm. um, but we're here to answer questions just like we always are. Does that make sense to everybody else? Because it's really just that article one and two. Correct. Yeah. To present a report. Correct. Um, I, th I, yeah, I don't know about the moderator piece. Yeah, that's um, on the Australian ballot, isn't it? No, the moderator's no, not on the Australian ballot. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that you've approved oh, yeah. through, through your... It says it's ballot. underneath yeah, the are. Australian ballot. Is it? Yes. Okay. Articles uh, yeah, well, are four are... absolutely right. Let's yeah. check. I want to check that with the town. Yeah, the moderator has been has traditionally it been? done by... Yeah, it is on a ballot. It's not before, but... Sorry, I'm used to almost everybody. I don't think... I think you're the only one that, besides U32 that has it done. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Stuck in... Good catch. Thank you. <laughs> well, I, I, I was a little confused as far as the way it was done, but Correct. those that fall below that Australian ballot, mm -hmm. the moderator and the school directors. Yep. So those, you are correct. Those are the only two things that we'll be doing. So and the only thing you can discuss about those is somebody can stand up and say, hi, I'm so-and-so. As far as you can't discuss correct. what's on the Australian ballot, yes. but you can introduce yourself. No speechifying. Right. Way. And so... Or when you were asking before about you know giving a presentation, that's the reports. Yeah. So that Article One, you can do whatever you want. In that mm -hmm. Article One. Do the slideshow and mm -hmm. uh, what we talk about those. Uh, question: uh, Bill is uh, and not well. No, I'll do that later. I'm just uh, in the in the part where we will do the report. Also, let's say that we by then now, when we would have an election, we can do anything about F46 and say, you know, yeah. so-and-so would be running. No? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. right. Yeah. The reports are pretty wide open. Yeah. Okay. Basically, you're giving information of the district. So. Yeah. So I would favor the warning on page five, keeping the Saturday previous. Me too. Meaning. Because we should also have further clarity on the process at yeah. that point. Okay. And that would, I think the more chances we have to discuss whatever the current situation is with community members is better. Agreed. Yeah. So I would make a motion. Do we want to jump to the action item? To well. I want to approve the East Montpelier Town School District meeting warning. I, I would appear to favor that <laughs> since I was going to make a motion. Yeah. <laughs> as long as everyone else is okay. Yeah. The one on page five. Page five. So, yeah. Um, it, is it adequate to say um, approve the East One Period Town School District warning on page? Just say the one that contains the announcement of the informational meeting. So the East One Period Town School District warning that includes the uh, Saturday Sorry. morning oh. meeting. Second that. <coughs> I'm just going to sign this, send you the signature page. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All of those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Okie dokie. Act 46 update. Yeah. We are having a, we're on, on articles of agreement, at least this, this much as I can do right now because there's a lot of other things going on in the state house. But <laughs> it's all it, over the place. So, but I guess the, in general, at 46, there's a couple of, uh, from the BSBA, you all got an email. There's a couple of bills uh, going on in the state house to delay the timeline to 2020. Uh, as far as us, we've been working on articles of agreement uh, and we still don't have consensus if this. Uh, uh, well, we now know that we can't put them up to vote because that was, uh, but we are not going to be the body anymore on February 28th. We cease to exist, and it would be the board, the, the new board, that would have the authority to put to decide to put them to vote or not. We're trying to give them a recommendation mm -hmm. with the understanding that we would be kind of talking to ourselves too because a lot of the people in this committee are going to be <laughs> in the transitional board, but there's no consensus uh, among us if uh, they should go out to vote or, or not. Okay. And uh, we are giving three recommendations and we have so far four, well, five articles now with the facilities that we haven't quite approved. Right, Phil? That would be the fifth one. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that would be the fifth one. So and then, and then the six that were. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, the six would be we we're we're pretty stuck on uh, on Article Four, which is not a big surprise, and it was the one that was the hottest priority, the one we waited until the very end 
and we have three kind of three proposals on the table right now. One would be that the board, the the town will have the 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 power to decide if the school is closed or not. The other one, it, and that didn't have major. It was four and four and two that we're not gonna that we're trying to get to consensus. And then the other one would be to have a supermajority. But the supermajority that they are pushing for is a 65%, which is a very arbitrary, and to try to get so. I, I mean, I'm not even. From my call at that meeting when Matt when Matthew showed the electoral math. Yeah. That even if you had, you know, if a town voted three quarters against the proposal, whether it was Callis or Worcester, and he used all the current registered voters, that. It really took a super majority in the other towns to defeat that. And it was really interesting. I thought those four slides are great. About yeah, yeah. Here's the math behind. And I thought, I just thought the conversation kind of, I don't think it came to the conclusion where it stood. Yeah. But people didn't talk about it anymore after watching those slides. Yeah. And so it would be a super majority and the vote of the town, too. Uh, and then the other one is just the uh, uh, two thirds of the new board would have to support uh, wanting to close a school mm -hmm. to put it to the general to the five towns to vote, and then. Uh, uh, so the process would be a supermajority of the board, a vote by the town. By the entire the electorate. Mm -hmm. So what oh, Article Four? By the towns. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Not, not the single the, town. Not the single the, town. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we don't yeah, have. I understand a, that. I can see that one being. And that's two years out. And that and that'll be yeah exactly and that would be two years out nothing two years nothing town. nothing right now. And the only two real uh, you know kind of articles of significance right now because two of them is just legal terms. One would be to have a board of fifteen instead of a board of ten. Uh, which I, we all think is, I think that complete consensus, all those have been approved by everybody that it would be easier to, you know, uh, do more work and uh, then we wouldn't have a five and five off into decisions. And um, and then the other one was, it, it's just really, it's supposed to be the local school councils, but it is very, um, it's very minimal right now, but it still suggests that that's one of the ways to get more community input is what we're calling it right now. And and the last one that we haven't approved but that we're gonna discuss is a, Chris uh, McVeigh brought an article on school and facilities use with uh, you know if we wanted to put it to to vote. In, in we all, you know we were divided to in that if, is that policy is that in, in something mm -hmm. but that be could be something that communities do appreciate that we are putting out in there so that there's no in, is that like to make sure decision. schools are still a public entity and usable by committee yeah. that we would do all we can to yes. make sure that the community has the best access as possible kind of don't even know why there's a thought that Act 46 or merging is changing any of that. We're still public schools in communities. No, and the biggest factor right. that always goes into that is insurance. Usually it mm -hmm. has nothing to do with governance. <laughs> yeah, insurance and facility maintenance. It's and not like we're being is. taken over by a private corporation. We're still community schools under one governance. I don't understand why that's even a topic. But, but I think the more we can, you know, I, we, we talked and talked about it and then some of us kind of came around, you know, like it's, you know, it, the worst thing would be that if we put it to vote and then community say no by not understanding it, right? You know, we would still mm -hmm. do something, yeah, you know, it can, no, it, all of these articles can go both ways, but yeah. it, hopefully the, it would be seen as something trying to reach out because definitely there is a lot of nervousness and a mm -hmm. lot of uh, upset and we don't lose anything, but it's not controversial, at least on my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. That's all I have. We have February 18th, is it 19th? 19th, because we Tuesday change it 19th. once more. Yeah. I've been scared to death to put anything on for a course forum because everything keeps changing so quickly, and Bill has done real, some uh, updates yeah, on YouTube new, and stuff. I'm gonna be, I've been asked a couple questions about what's actually the transition plan, kind of like some of the details. 
I'm not going to get into the micro details. I've got a project plan that's about a couple pages long. Uh, we, Laura and I sat down during Christmas and built a project plan. So I'm going to give, my next video is going to be about what's the transition process <coughs> that this is we have to tackle. Um, so, that, I mean, so for now, mark your calendars. February, February 19th is uh, what? The, orga the organizational, the organizational uh, it may be the organizational meeting. <laughs>